today me and lena made some chicken meatballs in a creamy cajun sauce it was so good i could eat it all day long so first you're going to take a pound of ground chicken and then season that really well we did some cajun seasoning about a half cup or so of italian style breadcrumbs we did an italian herb garlic kind of mixture and then we did some smoked paprika at the end oh and then some garlic too we did a lot of smoked paprika <laughs> all right so this is where i kind of took over we're gonna roll these into little balls now just like this and it is really sticky but you're gonna put that down on your skillet a nice hot skillet with a little oil on there and you're gonna brown those right now just like that and then i was cutting some mushrooms for our sauce next so spray that uh, pan with some oil, and I put a little butter in mine too. And you don't have to add mushrooms if you don't want to, but you could add onions, peppers, whatever you want right here. I just didn't have a whole lot with me, and <laughs> I only had that much garlic left too. So we added some garlic there. Once those were all done, we added two tablespoons of butter. And then once that's melted, you add a tablespoon of cornstarch. You're going to mix this together really well, or you can whisk it. I just didn't want to ruin my pan. All right, and then you're going to do two cups of chicken broth stir this together really well and then one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream i did turn the heat down now to about like a medium low so stir this together really really well and now you're going to season the sauce we did more cajun seasoning and then some smoked paprika and some horsehair sauce too i did about i would say one to two tablespoons and then of course some salt and pepper stir this together really well until it's all nice and incorporated bring it to a nice simmer and then we did one and a half cups of shredded parmesan cheese mix this together really well and when all that's nice and melted in there you're going to add those meatballs back in you're going to cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes until those uh meatballs are nice and fully cooked and then you're going to add another cup of parmesan cheese when it's all done Mix this together until it's all nice and melted. It'll be a little thicker now. And then we topped ours over some brown rice. I really wanted some white rice, but we didn't have any. But you could top it over mashed potatoes, cauliflower rice, like whatever you want. It tasted so good. We tore this up and we will be making it all the time now.